absolutely love this festival. I, this festival for me is, uh, you know, I, it's the best festival for me in the world. Out of the, all the ones that I played, I played a lot. This is one of the, the biggest free jazz festival in the world. The audience comes so ready to really be a part of it. You know, it's like they want to come and have a good time. I'm Ed Love and I work for WDT. I have been with the uh, Detroit International Jazz Festival from uh, the, the inception. And uh, we're going into the 30th year. I worked uh, all kinds of in all kinds of capacities. Uh, one year working as the uh, director. I just introduced George Wilson and his orchestra. And he uh, premiered a multi-part jazz suite. It's called Detroit that he composed, he was commissioned by the festival to write for Detroit. The music said these words, I had to write a little poem, and it says, Detroit, Detroit, it's beautiful, it's magnificent, uh, there's love. off the audience. The crowd that used to come to our shows was generally the generation that grew up with this music. You know, it's the older generation, but as time's gone on, we, we are getting more and more young people into the show. Uh, a lot of nice people, a lot of good food, and uh, it's just a, it's a beautiful day, and uh, you know, it's just a real nice atmosphere. Hi, my name is Juan Verde. We have been coming here for 16 years and wouldn't miss it for the world. This is my family over here to the right, and this is my extended family who we have met here at the Jazz Festival. Michael, we're 21 years. Dennis, 25. Jamie, 17. Ever Stevenson and the family, 25 to 30 years we've been coming. And we love the Detroit Jazz Festival. Yeah. Yeah. When you put together people who have talent, and a lot of them don't have the names, and you can get 750,000 people to come and hear them, that's a festival. There's no better. There's no better. here and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. It's historic and uh, you know, I'm humbled. This has been, you know, wonderful, warm, you know, response and welcome here. ago I, I play in Vibrato, it's a great club in, in Bel Air in Los Angeles. 
John Clayton was over there, and we have a, a really good uh, relation, you know, and it was great for me that John invited me and the Troy Jazz Festival. I saw yesterday Lake Brubeck, I saw uh, St. John's, and today, of course, I will see uh, Wayne Shore Quartet. I saw Christian McBride too. It's great, it's great for me. my third time playing here. Almost every festival on this earth, when they say jazz festival, there's no jazz on it, you know? But when you come here, you get exactly what they say it is. It's a jazz festival. Secondly, it's free. Um, I mean, look at this. You know, you got the whole city coming out really to enjoy all of this great music. and. Uh, they're digging it. They're all inspired. They're all happy when the audience is into it and they give you that feedback. Something in the artist just goes, yeah, okay, I, I got to come really strong now because they're digging it. I think it's incredible, particularly given the economic times and difficulties and challenges that a lot of people are experiencing right now to be able to come to an event of this magnitude, with such great entertainment, and it be free, I mean, it's just a blessing. This is, like, beautiful. You've got to see it. It's really nice, very nice. And from a New York City girl, that's saying a lot. This Detroit Jazz Festival is incredible. This is my second time here. Last year, I played with the Latin Jazz All-Stars, and it was great fun. And I begged them to please have me back with my own band, and it came true. I noticed that a lot of the jazz festivals, the ones that we've been playing lately, they're starting to charge people to get in. This is one festival that is free. And it's great because you get a nice, array of people. You know, we get a lot of different nationalities at these festivals. But I always like going to hear some of the high school bands because there's always kids in there that are up and coming and I love to hear the kids play. So we did that and we kind of walked around, you know, and looked at the art and everything and it was just wonderful. I'm so glad that I could come and perform with my own band, play my own music, it was very rewarding for me. I hope that I can come back every year, I would love to. Detroit has always been a great soul town, and I don't, I don't say soul town in the uh, marketing standpoint. I mean, it's a, it's a town with a, a lot of feeling. The music is such a uh, major part of the heartbeat of the city here. Detroit has always been, uh, has a rich musical history, in all levels of music, gospel, jazz, R&B. So I think it just highlights the greatness of our culture here in the city of Detroit and what the city of Detroit has produced. I'm really proud to be from this town and um, proud to be a Detroit musician. I'm in love with Detroit. It's like my home. It's really my home. Viva La Jazz, Viva La Detroit International Jazz Festival.